Is Angel Race too cool for in-person classes? What is up awesome people of the internet? Ever since Angel Reese and the LSU Tigers snagged their first national championship, it has catapulted her into the spotlight like a shooting star. Uh, from gaining over 2 million TikTok and Instagram followers to appearing in big time commercials, going to the White House, hanging out with celebrities, and even appearing in a Cardi B video, she has been everywhere. And it's gotten to the point now that Angel has opted to attend fall classes online instead of heading into the classroom. Talking about her level of fame in an interview with Teen Vogue, she said, I didn't think I was going to be in the shade room every time I posted something. I don't feel like I'm a celebrity, but I think a lot of people look at me as a celebrity now because of the impact I've had, not just women's basketball, but sports in general and black women things have changed for me. While she has chosen to attend classes online, she still says that school is her main priority. She said, school's first, basketball is next. I wouldn't be here without school and basketball, so that's my priority. And if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense uh, for Angel Reese and quite frankly, a lot of other college athletes to go to school online. At this point, Angel Reese most likely is a millionaire. Uh, she ranks six on, on three's NIL list with a valuation of $1.6 million. And this isn't just for women. Angel's commanding a higher value than many football players, well-known football players, including Colorado's Travis Hunter and Shadur Sanders. So it's clear that Angel Reese is a big deal nationally, let alone at LSU. And truly think about this decision that she's made uh, with a personal brand that's worth millions. It's like Angel is playing chess to safeguard her image. Opting for online classes shields Angel from unwanted slip ups and provides a controlled environment for her to actually succeed in the classroom. Not to mention there is a time factor. Juggling practice, games, and big time NIL deals is no cakewalk. So in terms of a time perspective, I think it actually makes a lot of sense to ensure that she is fulfill fulfilling everything that she needs to and also making sure that she actually performs well on, on the basketball court. Um, and this makes me wonder, could this be a start of a trend? Um, fellow LSU star and gymnast Livy Dunn is attending classes online due to safety concerns because she also, uh, she's number two on the NIL evaluation list, but uh, she's a big deal. She's a huge deal. And with that comes a lot of warranted and unwarranted attention. Um, and for someone who's trying to, uh, you know, make sure that they get, you know, decent enough grades, and also someone who's trying to make sure they're excelling in the sport that they that they uh, are at the school for, it makes sense um, that they are going to do some online classes instead of going into class because you have to worry about safety concerns. You also just have to worry about just different distractions. And as I said earlier, you have to worry about your brand. Um, Livy Dunn and Angel Reese are worth millions of dollars. These players, Yes, uh, they're, they're students, uh, but they're brands. They're, they're brands and, and they need to protect that brand at all costs, which, you know, again, makes sense. And it makes me wonder, will more popular college athletes follow suit? I personally wouldn't be surprised if they did. Um, but there's one thing that I think is kind of a con because let's keep it a buck. It's going to be hard to maintain that sort of big man or big woman on campus feel and status when people actually never see you walking around. Um, that's to me, one downside of going virtual, all virtual for classes, you lose some of that on campus hype. Uh, there really is something sort of electric to owning the spotlight and, and walking across the quad to your classroom. Like there is something to that, that, you know, Angel Reese will not be able to feed into. Uh, because she likely won't be walking around campus that much uh, because she won't be going to different classes. Um, well, of course she's going to classes, but online. You get what I mean. Anyway, that is the video. What do y'all think about Angel Reese opting for online classes? Have you ever considered online classes for the sake of your commitments? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, also, do you like 
Angel Reese's decision? Do you hate it? Or do you think it's a nothing burger that doesn't really matter? Uh, let me know. I'm curious. And oh, by the way, LSU has dropped their non-conference schedule and it looks like a bit of a cakewalk. Uh, let me know what you all think about uh, that schedule. And also let me know if you want me to do a deeper dive into some of the teams that they are playing. Uh, just say the word and I will make a video. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining uh, for this video. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. I make a variety of content, so I would love for you to check out my videos. Please subscribe and also check out some of the previous videos that I made. I've made videos about um, from Lindsey Harding uh, getting a new coaching role to the new NCAA tournament that's going to be happening um, in March to international play. I cover a little bit of everything, so please just take a look at some of the old stuff that I posted. And again, thank you all so much for watching this video. Have a great rest of your day, and until next time, guys. Bye.